Welcome to Everything Currency. This is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo. I'm your host Jay and today I want to pick a winner for the spontaneous giveaway that I decided to do on this channel yesterday. So yesterday I was feeling kind of actually down mentally and I said, "You know what? I'm going to give do a giveaway on my channel tomorrow for uh to make myself feel better." So whoever commented on uh my last video um got a chance to get into this giveaway and youtube must have been hating on showing people that message because only seven people commented so we're gonna have a duck race right now to pick the giveaway for that and i also want to talk about um the total two i want to talk about a couple altcoins that i've been talking about on this channel that i'm really watching right now because they are beginning to recover and i think you might want to put those on your radar for the next up and coming pumps if we have those so if you're excited about that like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new here and let's just get right into it so first things first you know what let's go ahead and get that giveaway out of the way that way if you don't want to see that part if your name's not on that list you can just fast forward it so here is the duck race so if you don't know i like to do duck races on this channel because nobody else does duck races in crypto i see people doing it other places but hey we're gonna have a duck race let's go all right so let's pick a winner for the race we got adam brandon silva a K A K G G G investor Robert Gill and Tiger Moon. Let's see who gets it. Good luck. Tiger Moon holding steady in first place. Who's going to hit the NAS at the last minute? Brandon in second. Up oh, here comes Adam. Oh, here comes Robert. Oh, AK. AK. Oh. All right, okay, now me. Um, you just want a hundred dollars in some Omi tokens. So, um, go ahead and comment. Um, edit your comment and send me your email address to receive your tokens and uh, everybody else make sure you turn on those post notifications so you know whenever I feel like giving away something random looking at the chart of bitcoin right here we can see i got this white line on this chart right here that's the first level of resistance we need to get over and then i got this red line that's the main level that i want to see is close above by the end of the week if we don't close above that by the end of the week and i could bring that down and make it match the 34 um i basically want to close the week above 50k that will make things look a little bit more bullish on these charts but until that happens things could just be a dead head dead cap bounce so i don't want to get a little too excited yet but looking at the total two right here we are in a no trade zone in between the 13 and the 34 so we're basically this uh structure right here on both of these charts is pretty crucial right now we absolutely need bitcoin to stay above this yellow line which is the 200 daily moving average now what this means is that if you look at these bars this is the average of the last 200 of these bars the 13 is the average of the last 13 of these bars 34 is the average of the last 34 of these bars so whether you have this chart set to the daily or the hourly or the four hour then that's what those averages are going to be but um so i want to close the week above the 34 uh moving average we need to have a nice spike and close there which it's only two thousand dollars away so i feel like uh if the bulls show up that could actually happen but if things go the opposite way then it might get a little more bearish and we might have to change the strategy but right now we're in a no trade zone so we are still hunting for all coins and just making a couple couple trades here and there speaking of a couple of trades here and there we're talking about avalanche that was the last trade that i brought to this channel uh, remember i was saying we need to get past this confluence right here of resistance we got back above it but after yesterday's video i said my first target was the 126 level that is exactly where we hit we came back down and we retested the top of that previous structure and now we're headed back up now we break across uh past 126 then my next target is going to be 139 and that is where um if we do hit that level i will be thinking about getting out of some of my position because if we break through that level then we might have some type of blue sky breakout so what i want to see is something like this um and that's just wishful thinking but that's what i want to see on that 
Trey. The next coin that I want to talk about is Luxo the Bro. So if you don't watch this channel, then you don't know that I'm wondering why this coin is so undervalued because what they're building is very needed and it's already being used by some of the biggest people in the game. But I want to talk about this chart today because we got some bullish things going on in my opinion. Getting back above this 200 moving average is great on the daily. This 13 moving average starting to curve up, starting to come and get get that battle on with the 34 moving average so it can continue up that will look nice the 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 price action being above the 13 and 34 and the 200 is just beautiful on a daily to see hopefully we can get up here to this target of 27 dollars um there will be some resistance on the way but i'm thinking hey luxo is pretty undervalued right now we had a nice dip on this day when they postponed their uh, main net so um, there is still a main net catalyst to come but hey they're postponing it because they're doing something that never has been done before and they're having a little bit of complications with it taking a little bit more time so it doesn't mean that they failed it just means that hey some people got pissed off because they had to postpone it and they dumped it so it is what it is looking for it to recover and continue um, this nice pretty uptrend like the rest of the market and the last coin that i want to talk to you guys about today before i talk to you about an nft project is citizen finance this is the last chart that i want to talk to you guys about today citizen finance so this chart is looking pretty ugly the price got all the way up to around 426 dollars really around 330 was the top that i seen it at when i checked i'll say 350 bucks around there but the price has been coming down and settling down ever since the metaverse hype started going down this coin has been sucking so it is hitting a bottom right here i'm hoping that it's hitting a bottom right here and it can recover and there's a couple things going on that I hope it could recover from right now. When you go to their uh, MetaLands game website, you can actually download an alpha version of the game and play it right now, um, a beta version of the game, I believe, and play it right now. So I just got done downloading it, so I'll check that out and I'll give you guys an update on that. But this project is still chugging away and as far as uh, gaming cryptos go, I haven't seen one that actually has a first person shooter that's pretty ready to go like this one. This is what the website looks like right here. You can download the pre alpha and play it for free right now. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to see, you know, how this, this game ends up turning out in the long run and how many people actually get into it. And it's a play to earn first person shooter. So that's something very new. So the last thing I want to talk to you about is the deadheads. If you don't know about the deadheads, they are NFT project and they are doing a show for their nft project and they're including other nft projects inside the show like the board apes the you know the um the cats and all that but um they had a new episode drop today of the show so if you're into the deadheads go check that show out if you're not into the deadheads go check that show out because it's pretty cool to see um how this nft project has you know your NFT, if you own a deadhead, might show up in the show if you're staking your deadhead. And you know, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see. And they're partnering with other NFT projects. So just wanted to give them a little shout out on the animated series that they got going on. Each episode is like five minutes. Check it out. Pretty cool. I might put a link in the description if I remember. So let me know what you guys think about the video like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new here turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on anything that this community is doing and let me know if you want to get into that telegram group for the holidays till next time wait 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 r.i.p to crypto roots shout out to everybody that is repping for crypto roots till next time peace